If Dakota Johnson is playing Madam Web, then clearly some of you also have guessed they're doing the Julia Carpenter version of the character. Because of course they are! Hollywood and their ageism, ridiculous. I mean, I think this movie could be maybe okay, but let's talk about this, all right? Because Sony thinks they're, clearly thinks they're the new MCU due to their close proximity. Heck, they're shoulder to shoulder on the red carpet. But I gotta say, decisions like this, like made without Kevin Feige, make them seem more like the new DC. In fact, these decisions are so bad, so obviously bad, that I'm making a whole separate video on how Sony should build their live action Spider-Verse going forward that will go up later today. And when it does, there'll be a link down below. Now, no disrespect to, to Dakota Johnson. I actually think Dakota Johnson is quite talented. I said so back when I reviewed the first Fifty Shades movie. She made Anastasia Steele work, which was not easy to do. And fascinatingly, just as Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson have rehabilitated their Twilight images, both Johnson and Jamie Dornan have become sought after talent on prestige projects. They're both in awards frontrunners this year. Even K Stu can't say that with her SAG and BAFTA snubs. And I imagine that Dakota Johnson's Julia Carpenter uh, slash Madam, Madam Webb will have her moments. Uh, just like Journey Smollett has been really well received as Black Canary. I mean, these are not the characters from the comics by any means, but that doesn't mean that audiences can't get behind them. Well, it would be a slam dunk as if these were comics accurate, Probably not. You know, it's gonna take it's it'll, it'll take it's gonna it's gonna take some time to win people over to it. Um, but I mean, the actress. I mean, that just speaks to the actress's talent that they can overcome uh, not being in source, you know, sor original source material correct uh, vehicles. In the comics, Madam Web, the original, is a blind, paralyzed telepath, clairvoyant, and precog mutant, no less. Ha! Ah, so many cross lines. A web. Uh, you can get trapped in a web, though. Who is like Nick Fury meets Professor Xavier meets Destiny, a.k.a. Mystique's wife, for those of you who don't know your X-Men. She's come back in a very cool way recently in the comics. And the, of all the spider people. She's like the leader of all the spider people. Bringing them together, finding them in different multiverses, and guiding them on their adventures, as well as helping them with their powers and tapping into this greater spider energy that ties all of our spider heroes together. Side note, I don't like this storyline. I don't like this. I've never been a fan of these types of Spider-Man stories, because to me, what makes Spider-Man work and makes the characters unique are their everyman status. Uh, the web of destiny, spider totems, that's a lot. I think the, the multiverse is a better a, a way to explain all this, and it's simpler. I think laying, layering over spider energy and a spider thing that taps, they're all tapped into, I'm like, no thank you. But I mean, I know these comics have done well, and you know, they're gonna run out of stories eventually, so they have to get to these. But I, I mean, do you like these if you're a Spider-Man fan? I just, I don't know about them. Uh, I mean, especially because there are so few Spider-Man stories that we have told, right? Uh, this before Craven, although of course they are working on a Craven movie, which also they shouldn't be doing, a solo Craven movie. Anyway, this is about Madam Web. Check out that other video. But anyway, in the comics, Madam Web died and transferred her powers over to Julia Carpenter the second Spider-Woman. Now, isn't Olivia Wilde supposed to be making a Jessica Drew Spider-Woman Spider movie too? It hasn't been confirmed. She kind of teased it, but that's this is like craziness. Jessica Drew, Julia Carpenter, these are not movie level characters, certainly not leads. Anyway, Julia Carpenter was a college student pal of Val Cooper, a, a, you know, a, a government operative who often works with the X-Men, who was experimented on by the government, you know, Val Cooper had a much better experience with the government than uh, Julia Carpenter. So she becomes a spider, she gets spider powers, she becomes the second spider woman with psychic webs that solidify after she telepathically spins them, sometimes from a great distance thanks to her ability to mentally control them. Yeah, so think like spider woman crossed with magic to some degree, I guess, but she can't teleport. But I'm talking about visually. Eh. She also, I mean, no, Julia Carpenter never really caught on. I'm sure someone will be like, I'm a Julia Carpenter fan. Well, you are a rare breed, my friend. She also has psychic blasts, similar to Miles Morales' Venom blasts. And she, this is where any, if she has any fans, this is where they'll, where they'll come from. She was involved in Secret Wars. And of course, there are rumors that Kevin Feige will soon be telling a Secret Wars story. So maybe M.A. Pascal is like, hey, Kevin, I have some people for you to use. And when she got Madam Web's powers, Julia lost her sight, but was not paralyzed. 
Uh, and she was still able to fight because, you know, she's a precog. She, you know, she, she, and a clairvoyant. She can tell where you're going to hit and she can block you. You know, stuff like that. Like stick to some degree. Uh, you know, Shakespeare said there's nothing new under the sun. Anyway. Deadline, which reported the Dakota Johnson casting, said that Madam Web, they hear, is like Spider-Man's Doctor Strange, which is totally incorrect for either version. That's a ridiculous way to describe the character. Doctor Strange, uh, Doctor Strange type characters are Madam, Madam Xanadu, they got the wrong Madam, and Zatanna, both of, of which DC is trying to get off the ground, also because of the popularity of uh, Scarlet Witch, right? Uh, they're trying to do a Justice League dark TV show and a Zatanna movie, but it's taken forever. Uh, the world of Spider-Man actually does not have a Doctor Strange type character. And I would, you know, Madam Web is great the way, I mean, again, I don't like that corner of the Spider-Verse, but, uh, you know, at least tell it correctly. Madam Web, you know, she is a cool character, I think is a supporting character, and it would be great to bring her into the Spider-Man movies, like a Nick, again, like a Nick Fury, Professor Xavier type who ties them all together, but again, from a secondary position. Julia Carpenter could be a cool character, like I think on a streaming service, but Sony doesn't have a streaming service. Like, I mean, like, Sony has, during the pandemic, mostly partnered with Amazon, so maybe they could do Sony series for Amazon. Like they're doing a Silk series too, apparently. Like it's just too much and it's all over the place. It's just, and Silk is not well enough established in the comics, I think, to have her, especially her own adventures. Um, I think Dakota Johnson, though, is very good casting. I think she's a great actress. I think she would be a pretty good Julia Carpenter. But again, I don't think she should have her own project. Uh, especially with a director, S.J. Clarkson, who hasn't done any theatrical films and worked on two of the least visually inspired Marvel Netflix shows. Kristen Ritter, by the way, has a similar vibe to Dakota Johnson, which I find interesting and promising, as Ritter was able to still create a great character with Jessica Jones, even though visually, again, her series was not that great. But hey, maybe Clarkson will step up to the plate, right? Like Kate Heron did with Loki, although that was a TV series as well. I think jumping right into the deep end with a movie is tough. I mean, even John Watts, it took him two movies before he got to the visual awesomeness of No Way Home. That is a very well-directed movie. So what do you think of this latest development of Sony's Spider-Verse? And stay tuned for my video later today about how they should build that out. Share those thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.